I'm Nido Foodie and today we're going to be making smoked Carolina Reaper salsa. I'll put the recipe down below in the description but I'm going to have four Roman tomatoes, six tomatillos, two jalapeno peppers. We're going to get them onto the barbecue, get the char, get them cooked a little bit and then we'll talk about the rest of the recipe later. These have been cleaned and if uh, tomatillos, if you never used these before or cooked with them, you're really missing out. These are really a gem. Something we didn't have when I was growing up as a kid. Thanks to the North American Free Trade Agreement, we now have these when we didn't have them before. And the jalapenos anymore really don't bring the heat, they bring the flavor. And we'll talk a little bit about that later. But anyway, the description will be down below and we're going to get these on the barbecue. I have the jalapeno stemmed up. And if you didn't want to go to this much work for salsa, and if you have a gas stove, you can just char them up on the gas stove. Or on a hot plate will work. Anyway, we're going to let those get charred up and we'll be back in a second. So as these start to get done, we'll just go ahead and pull them off. Nice char on that one. Rotate them through the heat. Let them cool a little bit before we throw them into the blender. You might think this is a lot of work just for salsa. But by the time you look at the price in the stores for balls of salsa that are marginal at best on their flavor, well worth it. And actually if you just charred these on your stove top on a, in a skillet or if you have gas, you could actually put them directly on the flame. The tomatillos would be a little bit tougher to do that with because they take a little bit longer. So the tomatoes, tomatillas, jalapenos are cooked off the grill, they're cooling down a little bit. We'll get the blender out and get them mixed. But it's amazing how you start a YouTube channel and people send you stuff. Uh, especially when you go on the internet and you buy it and they send it to you. But this Carolina Reaper was sent to me by my son in uh, Oklahoma City. He grew it, shipped it out to me and it was not stored high in transit basically it was an envelope everything got stacked on it so it is a little smushed but it'll still do the job we'll find out how hot it is it's supposed to be over two million scovilles in temperature and anymore the jalapenos don't bring any heat they bring a lot more flavor than they do heat 
So that's why I went in and put jalapenos in this like I always do. And uh, usually use uh, chilies de arbols uh, for this. But today we're going to use a Carolina Reaper. And uh, I'll actually taste it on camera and see if I can handle the heat. The beauty of these salsas is once you find the flavors you like, they can be adapted. You could add more garlic, more onions. Uh, so basically with this recipe or any of my recipes, you don't have to follow it to a T. You basically cook it, make it your own. Find out what you like, what you don't like. And you can make this thicker, thinner, however you want to do it. Put those in there. And I'm also doing one quarter of a large onion. Going to kind of put them in there first so they can break down. And two garlic cloves. And if you like more garlic or like less garlic, especially when it's kind of raw. And I don't like to add water. Because water really doesn't add flavor. This is a little chicken broth. And if you like it thinner, thicker, that's how you dilute it. And then one teaspoon of salt. And we'll give that a pulse. Plus the char gives it a good deep, deep color. Okay, here's the moment of truth. The oils from this chili have actually kind of downgraded the plastic a little bit. Ooh, well. And one teaspoon of vegetable oil. And we're ready for our final blend here. Resituate the camera. I really hope I got that, or we'll be able to get that Reaper minced good. I don't want to take a big hit of that. how much you blend it all depends on how you like it chunkier this is about where I like it well we'll get that plated up and uh, we'll do the taste test on it well there you have it smoked Carolina Reaper salsa. 
easy to do and it really doesn't cost that much more to make it yourself than to just buy a jar of salsa or even the better stuff you might find the produce in the reefer there you know that someone's made fresh it's three dollars and fifty cents for a, a pint when I basically made a half a gallon for probably five or six bucks by the time you add in everything so anyway I guess it's time uh, to give that a taste well and I haven't cheated I haven't tasted this yet So, God help me here, we'll find out. Yeah, the heat's, heat's climbing, has a pretty good flavor, the smoke to it. And it's getting hotter. My mouth is pretty much coated in hot. You know, I'm going to need to uh, go get some Tums from uh, the heartburn I'm going to have the rest of the day. But that's not so overbearingly hot. Uh, glad I didn't make a smaller batch. Yeah, that is pretty warm. Not over the top warm. I've had a little bit hotter. No, that's pretty good. My wife, wife won't be able to eat it. Uh, probably end up taking it to work. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty warm. So anyway, I'm Nido Foodie. If you like this, uh, please like give a like leave a comment subscribe if you want uh, I'm gonna be doing one more video of uh, salsa verde and this is getting hotter uh, do that this weekend hopefully get them both out Saturday or Sunday so anyway thanks for watching and uh, we'll talk to you later